Hey guys, so I wanted to come on today and to do a haul. Um, I recently went shopping and um, I went to Sephora and so I got a bag of goodies. So um, let me show you what I bought. Um, of course, like everybody, I went there to buy one thing and I walked out with a bag full of stuff that I did not need but that I love nevertheless. So um, let's get started. Let me show you what I bought. I'm going to take everything out so that you don't hear the annoying crinkling of the bag. <laughs> so let me start by saying that I went in to get this um, product by Kate Somerville and it is called uh, D-Scar. Um, it's a fairly new product to me. I had never heard about it, but um, I was on Sephora's website uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and I saw that it was um, something, I don't know, a trend or a buzz of the day or a product of the day or something. And it got good reviews, and the reason I wanted to try this is because I have a scar on my forehead. Um, I have been in an accident in the last uh, couple of years, and um, I am looking to uh, reduce the appearance of that scar. So um, hopefully this little baby will help me and um, I can say goodbye to that scar very, very soon. So I'll keep you posted. Um, it is a neat product. It um, It's a kind of a, a roller ball and it has like an on, oops, an on and an off, kind of you twist it, turn it on, you squeeze some product out, you kind of massage it in the area, and um, you're supposed to do that twice a day, so let's see. I've only been using it a couple of days, so obviously I haven't seen any difference yet, but um, I'm patient, so let's see. Um, so that was the main reason I went in there. Um, one of the other products that I have been eyeing for probably a couple of weeks since I saw a video on it um, has been this Marula oil. Um, I've seen a few different YouTube videos um, boasting that this is a wonderful facial oil and I'm all about a great facial oil. I love kind of um, putting um, a facial oil on my face when I go to bed uh, sometimes and when you wake up your face just feels so uh, hydrated and moisturized and it's just a lovely feeling. You just feel like you've gone on a vacation and you've come back. It's just, um, it's really refreshing. Like your, your face just feels um, quenched, it, they're, uh, hydrated. It's wonderful. So uh, people were boasting about this. It has um, absolutely fantastic reviews on Sephora's website um, as well as other websites um, that I've looked uh, this product up on. So, um, I thought, why not? So it is an expensive product, but I wanted to try. Um, it's a really nice product. It has a neat bottle. Packaging is just beautiful. You know, um, it's a glass bottle and you twist it and this pop comes off and it's supposed to have pre-dispensed the exact amount that you're supposed to put on your face. Um, I don't think you need that much product um, to do your whole face, but um, anyhow, that's what they say. I use probably about four, four little droppers, four little drops from the dropper. And that does my whole face and my neck. So, um, so far I'm really liking it. It's not greasy. Um, it really absorbs into the face nicely and, um, it feels good. So I'm not singing the praises yet, um, cause it's too soon, but, um, I have no complaints yet, um, either. So let's see. Um, next is a eye, eye, what is it called? Clinique All About Eyes Serum. Um, I've been curious about this because I saw Lisa Lisa D1 talk about it. And, um, when she talks about something, doesn't it make us all want it? So <laughs> she has made me go out and buy like a ton of things that I don't need, but that I love. And I love them on her because she's gorgeous. Um, 
But obviously our skin tone, our coloring, our eyes, our hair is very different. So some of the stuff that looks spectacular on her, um, not so much on me, but um, I still nevertheless like to try the things that she raves about. So this is one of them, the Clinique um, All About Eyes Serum. And this is another roller ball. And um, I like this. It dries very, very quickly. I use it in the morning. It dries very quickly, as I said, and um, it's great for under your concealer. So um, I'm really liking this so far. I have used the All About Eyes uh, uh, gel. I, you know, the gel for the under the eyes gel cream. That sounds weird, but anyhow, um, the gel for under the eyes. Um, you all know what I'm talking about. That is, I love that product. Um, I love keeping that in the uh, refrigerator and it's really cooling. And this roller ball actually is no different because it's a roller ball. It's very, very cooling. And um, I like the way it feels. So, so far I'm really liking this. Um, I haven't seen it make a world of difference yet too soon, but um, I'm liking this product so far. Um, next, let's see, next is another product, um, that I saw somebody talk about here on YouTube, and it is the Guerlain, uh, mascara in, in black, it's called Maxi Lash. Um, this is a really, uh, a really, really nice mascara. It is not a mascara that I usually go for. I My favorite mascara of all time, all time, is the uh, YSL Faux Seals. That's my favorite mascara. Um, but um, I wanted to try this because um, I heard that this is a beautiful mascara for not a really dramatic look, just kind of... It just looks like your natural lashes a butt better. Um, and I wanted to try that. So this is that. This is perfect if that's what you're looking for. If you're not looking for the lashes that are out there in your face, totally voluminous, um, extended to the sky lashes, you just want a natural looking lash that looks like your lashes, fluttery, um, so very, very natural, but gorgeous. This is the mascara. It is beautiful. Um, this really, really is, is a beautiful product, um, but not if you're going for the dramatic lashes. If you are going for the natural, beautiful lash, this is, this is it. So I like that a lot. Um, next, I bought a um, Urban Decay 24-7 pencil, and this is in the color Bourbon. You've all seen this. Um, Just a dark brown with shimmer, um, and I wanted this because I wanted to try um, using this under my lash line. I usually never wear anything under my lash line. I just feel that my eyes are small, so it just makes them smaller, but I saw a video that Lisa Eldridge did, and she smokes it out a little bit with a cotton bud, and I thought, let's try. So that's what I've tried today. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not. I love this product. I'm not sure if I like it on my bottom lash, um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love rich, um, rich chocolate browns. And so, I mean, the, this color is breathtaking, so I love it. Um, next, I bought a product that I've had my eye on probably for about three years. Um, and every time I go in and I'm like, I should buy it, I should try it, I always swatch it on my hand and then I'm like, I don't really, really need this, do I? And so then I come home, then I go back and I swatch it again. I'm like, oh, this is like, it's probably lovely. Sorry, it's probably lovely and I should try it and I don't. And this goes on and on and on. And I was just finally like, just buy it, buy it, try it and deal with it. <laughs> and so the product is by Clarins and it is the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. It is a primer. Um, this is what it looks like. It is so, it, it is a primer with a silicone feel to it. It is like, um, the Laura Geller spackle. It feels like that. It kind of feels like, um, the Smashbox, um, primer, but a little creamier. It blends into your skin, um, seamlessly. There is no greasy residue. Um, it's supposed to just make your skin perfect. I'm not wearing it today. Um, after I've died to have it, I don't wear it 
obviously. And um, so let's see if I like that. I wore it um, one day last week and um, it was nice. It didn't blow me away, but um, a primer has to do a lot to blow me away. And um, I like this. I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I tried it because otherwise it would just be sitting there in my mind like, I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh, so that battle has ended and here it is in my home. Um, and finally, a product that I absolutely did not need but purchased because somebody came up to me and said, oh, um, can I try this product on you? And I said, no, I really don't have time. My kids are with a sitter and I need to get back in about half an hour. And she's like, oh, it'll take five minutes. And so I said, fine. And that product is by Amore Pacific um, and it is their CC uh, Compact. This is what it looks like. Oops, sorry. And mine is in the color uh, Amber Gold. And I've never tried a CC cream like this. I have tried um, quite a few CC creams and BB creams, and I'll have reviews coming up on the ones that I've tried. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a compact. So I've always tried the ones that are in the tubes. Um, but, you know, it, it literally looks like a compact, and there's a cushion here, and, oops, sorry, you open it up, and it's literally like a compact. You push it on, on there, and you blend it onto your skin. I know you can't see that, and there's really no point to show it to you like that, but um, it is a beautiful, beautiful CC cream. I'm so impressed with this. This is an SPF of 50, and that's one of the main reasons that really... I bought it. Um, I love it. It's the, the thing that really got me is it is so, um, I want to say hydrating, but that, you know, that's going to make it sound like if you have oily combo skin, not to go for that. My skin is sensitive oily combo. So, um, I was really worried that this would, because it's so hydrating, make me look like an oil slick. It does not. It blends in beautifully. Um, it's just very, it has um, the texture, it's it's very kind of when you put it on, it's, it's almost like you're putting water on your face. It is literally, it's like if you take the puff, put it in water, and then put it on your face, and it just, your skin just soaks it up. It's gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful product. And when she put it on my skin, I was like, yeah, well, I'll think about it, and um, I'll come back. And I was walking around the store, and I was like, I have to buy this product because I'm not going to, it's going to be one of those clearance products that I can't stop thinking about. So I bought it and I don't regret it. I just love it because it is completely different than any other product I own. Um, so uh, I had to have it. So um, that's it. I did get a couple of samples, which I'm excited to try. One is this age defense cream from Amore Pacific, which I'm really excited about because after that CC cream, I have um, high expectations for that as well. And that brand is getting a lot of hype right now, so let's see what it's all about. Um, and I did get a uh, with a 100 point perk. I should tell you, that's not a sample actually. This is a 100 point perk, so um, not a free sample. And another 100 point perk was this um, YSL Faux Seals, the baby doll one. And like I just said, my favorite is the Faux Seals, so I was anxious. I picked this right up when they had it for the 100 points. And I will tell you, I have this on today. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't know if I love it more than the Faux Seals or if I love it the same, but I love it. I love Faux Seals. It is just the best mascara. And everybody is looking for cheaper drugstore alternatives, and I always go back to the drugstore. I found a few that I like. There's this new one that I'm trying out, which I like a lot, but if I'm looking, I've tried the Giorgio Armani um, Telescopic, the Chanel La Volume, and they're all good, but the top of the line for me is always going to be the YSL Faux Seals. I love that mascara. I have this on today, the baby doll, and I'm loving it. So, um, that's it. So that's my haul. It's quite a big haul. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well in what else? Is there anything else? I don't think so. Um, today is Sunday. I'll try to post this today. If not today, in the next couple of days, but I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I'm happy to reconnect with all of you. I've missed you. And, um, 
I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching and have an awesome and beautiful day. Bye-bye.